Hello friends! In this video, I will teach you how to remaster Skyrim's lighting using Reshade 2 and Rudy ENB. If you are unsure about those lighting presets, I recommend checking out my previous videos, all of which showcase the lighting setup you will have following this video. Like the video if you find it helpful, and subscribe if you want more tutorials and showcases weekly. Also, don't feel bad about messaging me on the support discord. Installing Rudy ENB is much more difficult than it was five years ago. Step 1. Open Steam. Locate Skyrim Special Edition, right click the title and open properties. Then install the files and click the Browse button in the right corner. This is how you find your root directory. To start with, go to the description of this video. There is a section labeled Part 1. Download all the mods listed using your mod manager. Several of these are large and can be downloading while we do other things. So, when you are finished queuing them, come back and we'll continue. Now that you've downloaded those, you can go to the section labeled Part 2 in the description and manually download the six plugins listed. These are all small files that will appear in the download section of File Explorer rather than in Vortex or Mod Organizer 2. The ENB Dev website where you will get the binaries may not have a working link because it changes too frequently. Just type it in and choose the option that says the Elder Scrolls Skyrim SE. Then scroll to the bottom of the page and choose the version with the highest numeric value. Scroll to the bottom of the page again and click the download icon. Next. Open File Explorer and click on Downloads on the far left side. I recommend creating a folder here labeled Skyrim ENB, Mods, or something similar. This is just for organization purposes. Place all six manually downloaded items into the new folder. If it doesn't look identical to my own, you miss something, please start over. If it does, congrats! Now, extract the SKSE folder using 7-zip or another program. Open the unzipped folder and delete the README, What's New, and SRC files. Place the remaining three files in your root directory. Now, run Reshade. Type Skyrim in the Setup Wizard search bar and choose the option with the Skyrim icon. So long as there are no errors, you can press next until the finish option appears. An installed successfully notification should appear, at which point you can press the finish button. Unpack the reshade two files, then drag and drop them into your root directory. Onto the ENB. Unpack the ENB series folder, open the wrapper version, and place the d3d11.dll and d3d compiler DLL into your root directory. Unpack the Rudy ENB folder. Open the NAT3 and LUX folder inside of it. And then the Skyrim SE folder inside that. Move the contents of the Skyrim SE folder to your root directory. Just one final step in this section. Unpack the SSE Fixes folder and place the contents in your root directory. The mod manager downloads you queued at the beginning of the tutorial should all be downloaded. If not, wait until they are finished, then install them with your mod manager. Otherwise, take a moment to install them. Once you've done that, you can open Skyrim using SKSE to complete the in-game portion of the tutorial. Start up Skyrim, and once you are loaded into the game, press Shift plus F2 to open the reshade menu. Click the Continue button, then the red drop-down bar, followed by Continue, Continue, Finish. Now, beneath the search bar, 
disable the options Lift Gamma Gain, Ambient Light.fx, and Vibrance. Press Shift F2 again to close the reshade menu, followed by Shift plus Enter to open the ENB menu. Under Color Correction, set Brightness to 1.5. Finally, press Save Configuration in the top left corner, and you're finished. Hopefully, this has helped you install Rudy ENB. Enjoy your game and subscribe for weekly updates.